Every Chicago travel agent and terrorist to Howard Rana tonight says his next journey will be a death trip to India. If he is extradited there, as American and overseas prosecutors want, Rana claims he will either be executed by the Indian government or murdered in an Indian jail. Both possibilities tonight being used by his attorneys to keep him in the U.S. India's criminal justice system is not known for its safe and humane treatment of prisoners. Tonight, this man, Chicago terrorist Tahawa Rana, is pointing to the South Asian nation's reputation for prisoner mistreatment and death in this new U.S. court filing. Rana attempting to block his extradition to India, where he would stand trial in connection with this deadly terror attack in the city of Mumbai, 2008. He's already been convicted in Chicago of ties to the same terror group based in his home nation of Pakistan. In the real world, Rana has little chance of making it to trial in India, his attorneys write, given that country's well-documented history of extrajudicial violence directed against Muslims in police custody. It's a defense strategy. His lawyers are making the best arguments they can for why he shouldn't be extradited, and now they're making a case for how dangerous it will be for him in prison. Uh, there may be issues with the prison system in India as there are elsewhere, but that won't be grounds to prevent extradition. Rana was operating this travel agency in Chicago's Rogers Park neighborhood 15 years ago when authorities say he and childhood Pakistani friend David Headley began working with Pakistani terrorists on a Mumbai, India attack plot. When it was carried out, 175 people were killed, including six Americans. Rana's attorneys seem to really bring home the point that um, from, from their view, he is about to be shipped overseas um, to stand trial for charges that he's already been prosecuted on in the United States. How is that legal? If Indian law has something different about it than, the, than American law that requires proof of something different, even if it's the same underlying facts, he can face charges in India. Tonight, Rana remains in a federal lockup in Los Angeles, waiting for a judge there to decide on sending him to India. Legal experts think his stopping extradition is a long shot and that it doesn't matter that he is a Canadian citizen and not even American. Rana's Chicago attorney, Patrick Bleegan, has not responded to I-Team emails. We expect a decision in this fairly soon. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.